Tom, pleasure to have you on. Uh, firstly, I've got to say, your drip is a crazy. You're looking crazy good tonight, man. What, what are you wearing? Can you remind me, please, Jude? <laughs> We're having pronunciation issues. Hang on. Um, Courage. It's Courage. Courage. Wow, I've got to check up on him. Yeah. Um, so, congratulations on the film. Uh, congratulations on the movie premiere. We're here now. Uh, years in the making. Uh, how are you feeling about tonight that everything's all culminated into this moment? Surreal. It's absolutely surreal to finally have so many people come and support the film. It's, it's you know, amazing to actually be telling a story like this, but it's also such an amazing community to have come and support it as well. It's, it's so relevant now. It's more relevant than we ever even imagined it would be. And of course, obviously, you met uh, Peter, the director, back in 2014 off the back of uh, Kingsman Secret Service. Sick film, by the way. Um, I mean, you worked together for a number of years um, and meeting Sergei Fetisov, which is the character you're basing it on. How was the whole experience that led up to where we are now? And what was it like transitioning from something like a franchise like Kingsman to Fiber? I would absolutely do Kingsman again, um, 100%. It was a lot of fun. We did almost die, actually, like um, in the process of making it. Uh, Matthew Vaughan has certainly shared that story now. Um, and it was, just, it was so amazing to, to, to work on something and cut my teeth on a project like that. And working on an independent project like this as well, there's such a level of emotion that I can kind of get in and get stuck in. And, you know, I was graciously taken on as a writer as well. Peter took my feedback and we wrote together for two and a half years. It's a very unusual position, actually, for an actor to be able to do. And I certainly don't think they would have allowed me to do that in Kingsman. And, of course, like the dynamics of your characters, obviously a fighter pilot and a young soldier falling in love. Uh, whilst fighting the Cold War. Um, was it easy or difficult to tap into those emotions? Because there's a lot of layers to this, especially like when there's conflicts of interest, uh, you guys fight in a war, but also then, you know, love is love. So how were you able to tap into those emotions? Through being in, with the project for quite a significant amount of time, but honestly, the most informative thing for me was getting to meet the real Sergei Fetisov in Russia, getting to know him and getting to spend time and just like see how he was, how he treated other people and you know how he was really honest and open and courageous and living in modern day Russia, you know, that's something that's still quite a challenge. You can't freely express yourself down the street and so it it was amazingly informative for me as almost in a way that's kind of beyond words to be able to choose how I was going to represent him. And of course, obviously, the film centers on love and not so much politics. I was speaking to Peter earlier about this. Uh, obviously, everything that's going on between Ukraine and Russia and obviously everything that's going on in the Middle East as well, yet lest we forget. How important is it even more so now that, you know, films like this are spreading awareness, not only of love, but also same sex love as, and being that we're appreciating it as a whole? I think it's a really great reminder to realize how blessed we are. That's the thing. I mean, we are so blessed to go to sleep at night with a roof over our heads and the bombs aren't going to fall and that we have food in the kitchen and that we're warm and in a warm place. And I think that, you know, seeing a film like this, it makes you appreciate the type of love that can exist between two people, regardless of, you know, where you are. And... And here, it's very easy to do that. Yeah. Over there, there's a huge amount of things in the system against you. So it, for me, it would be like, I really hope people can take away a, a lot of courage from seeing the film. And it definitely shows that in this film, for sure. Finally, I wanted to ask you, because you featured on uh, Attitude magazine recently, and uh, you asked if, uh, if you were willing to play the next James Bond, and you said happily that you would. Of course, uh, Tom Hardy was in the running for it, and obviously now uh, Reggie Jean Page is next in the runnings. Um, are you still fighting to get that spot? Like, of course, like, we want to see you on screen as James Bond. How would you feel about that? I mean, like I said, if they asked me, I certainly wouldn't say no, but they may say I'm a little young, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, honestly, playing a role such as that, which has merged and, and grown and changed over so many years, it's such a strong and amazing franchise um, that, yeah, I, I still would happily do that, but also characters of a very similar ilk. And finally, what's your favorite James Bond film? Oh, that's a really good question. I think, honestly, I think it's Casino Royale because I think it, kind of surpasses even the franchise yeah. as in like it's just such an amazing film well fantastic glad to hear you friends thank you so much for taking the time i appreciate it thank you